Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, the California Beekeeper. I'm Jose. We have a special guest today. All right. Hello. So we are gonna head out. We are gonna go meet a fellow queen breeder. There's some equipment that we're going to let him have um, that we no longer use, so it's just pointless for us to hold on to it. Uh, and it's at one of our old mating yards. So we're gonna go meet up with them and help them load up this equipment. So take you along with us and enjoy the ride. Drivers, this is the outer beyond today. So here's the equipment. Here's Oki. Gonna back his uh, Dodge Dually over here and uh, start loading all this stuff up. Let's take a quick look. So these are uh, two-way nukes. They have three frames, feeder, and uh, also have a couple of these. I might just keep these though. These are my six-way nukes here. And uh, I just like to have these around just because it's a 10-frame body. Talabanda, Talabanda, dude. Dad, can you get my nuts for me? Because my hands are tiny and cold. Sure. Ooh. They're over there on the truck bed. Oh. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, but when I come back, I might still want to it. Got it. This is to the beard and uh, man, cow poop. Man. So much cow poop, guys. Ugh. Cows were here, yeah. but now they pooped everywhere. Oh, man. You have three frames and one feeder. This is the division board. That way you can have two nukes. You put the burlap right over it. So that way the bees don't cross across, put the lid, good to go. Loaded it up here, had to do a little Tetris. We got a couple transfers also, these are Trans transfers. What we call transfers is uh, just a uh, an eight frame box that you put these frames in, so they're able to draw it out uh, a little better on a colony. So you'll stack it on a queen right. You stack it on a queen right colony, um, and let her lay up in there, and she'll lay those up, and then you're able to distribute those brood frames and honey frames into your nukes. So that's what's cool about those transfers. Very cool stuff. It's just not something that works in our apiary. That's why we're just kind of steering away from that stuff there. So we're over here, we're trying to figure out how to how to uh, be California legal here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
that's what we were going for. <laughs> Hey, so if you guys ever use this netting bungee stuff, uh, drop a comment down below and uh, direct us to the, uh, <laughs> the YouTube video for this stuff, man. We usually use ropes. <laughs> have Oki here he is a queen breeder out of Butte County or yeah out of Butte County out of Butte County so uh I've known him for about two seasons uh and started building a relationship with him he's another queen breeder out here in Northern California when and, uh, did you start beekeeping Oki so I started beekeeping probably about six years ago and I got into beekeeping because my neighbor asked me if I wanted to clean out wax moth nooks and I didn't know what that was until I knew what that was, and I had wax moss guts splashing out of my face trying to clean them out of nooks. So that's kind of how I got into beekeeping. Man, <laughs> if you have you ever cleaned out uh, wax moss? It is, they can make a mess, man. And uh, when they squirt, oh man, you have it on your lips. It's <laughs> not fun, man. But what does it taste like? Uh. It tastes like bugs. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like bugs. So, Oki's Busy Bees, is that's, yeah. that's the name of your company. What what inspired you to, to start your own company? So, I was originally going to be an ag teacher, and then I had already been in bees for about two seasons, and I kind of was like, oh man, I really love doing this, and I don't know if I would have time to do this ever again if I kind of took that lifestyle. So, I just made a complete 360, decided to become a beekeeper, and... Here I am doing it. Awesome, and you're a queen breeder also. Yes, I'm a queen breeder also. Is that your favorite part? I mean, queen breeding is very difficult. You, I mean, yeah. you, and it comes with so many challenges. What is it that keeps you going with the queen breeding? I think what keeps me going with the queen breeding the most is honestly being able to see how much better you can get, what you can always improve on, and there's always a kind of a new challenge and. There's always new qualities that people are looking for and you're just want to bring those best qualities and see how you can help other beekeepers but also your own bees survive awesome so yeah kind of being like the owner of your own destiny kind of thing there you go there yeah. you go what is your favorite genetic uh, as far as in a, in a honeybee and, and the breed hygienic hygienic keep them clean baby there nothing you go. i love better than seeing like a clean hive that has uh not a lot of you know waxing it they're cleaning out uh everything i give them as far as treatments pretty well love the hygiene all about the hygiene genes yes awesome well guys that's a little bit of uh our friend oki here in northern california and if uh you have any questions for them drop them down in the comments below and we'll have to reach out you could also be reached at where okie's busy bees on instagram facebook and my website okiesbusybees.com awesome we'll drop that link down below in the description box guys and uh it's always a pleasure hanging out and uh getting things rolling with this uh with this other queen breeder here from Queen's northern california too we got we're gonna about to be busy bees aren't we yeah busy awesome bees. all right okies we'll see you man see you, knuckles heck yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of max's favorite things to do is hang here in the center console and and ride on this dirt road go up to the uh to the gate go open it up for our buddy Oki and let them out. We don't want to trap them here forever. We'd, we'd hold on to them for a while so you can help us wing catch. Feet, it's always cool to uh, meet up with the, a fellow queen breeder and uh, he's growing and uh, you know it's equipment that we had that we weren't using and we're always up for uh, helping a, a, a fellow beekeeper, uh, queen breeder out. I think it's pretty important for, for everybody to uh, help each other when we can, you know? Let's get this gate.
Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Bang, baby. Oh, yeah. Bang, 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 b